Although the match did not end up how he had hoped, traveling to Panama was quite the experience. Right people, how we doing? Ref here. Match day minus one, live from Panama City. It's CONCACAF World Cup qualifying, USA away to Panama. It's going to be immense. But first, let's check out the city. Panama City is a fantastic blend of new and old, with a financial district full of skyscrapers. The city overlooks the Pacific Ocean, where you can spot the many shipping vessels either entering or exiting the Panama Canal. In the distance, you can see the old town built in the 1600s by the Spanish. So this is where the magic happens. The Miraflores locks where visitors get a close up view of how this engineering marvel works. Let's take a look ourselves. Right now, you can see a ship entering the lock from the Pacific Ocean, helped along by four electric trains that guide the ship through the process that raises the vessel 85 feet or 26 meters into the canal. Once the ship is fully in the first lock, the gates behind the ship are closed. Water is then pumped from the lock directly in front of the vessel until the water levels are even on both sides. When this happens, the front locks will open and the ship will move into the second lock. This process is repeated again, then the ship can enter the canal. The United States built the Panama Canal to significantly cut worldwide shipping times. Previously, ships with goods coming from Asia would need to travel all the way around South America or through the treacherous Arctic Archipelago to reach the U.S. East Coast. The engineering team ingeniously decided to create an artificial lake and lift ships into it rather than excavate the entire length of the canal, which was proven extremely costly. Once in the canal, the ship will travel 51 miles or 82 kilometers to another set of locks that will lower the vessel back to sea level to enter the Caribbean and further onto the Atlantic ports. Day of the match, route for a nice stroll around Casco Viejo, the old town, some fantastic architecture. Let's check it out. We are starting off our walk in Independence Plaza. The main attraction here is the Metropolitan Cathedral, which is the main Catholic church in the city. While walking around, you can see all these bright colored buildings from the Spanish colonial era, with many now catering to tourists as hotels and restaurants. Now we are headed to the French Plaza, which honors the French who were the first to attempt to build a canal in Panama, albeit unsuccessfully. We finish up our walk going to Bolivar Plaza. Along the route, you can see great views of St. Francis of Assisi Church and the National Theater. The main event is almost here. We're on our way to the stadium. Let's take it all in.
coming out. Fernandez got in all right. No bother. Before kickoff, everyone said running track going to be an issue. I love these seats. Quality feeling. First half, nil-nil. All right, so yeah, Charlie Callahan from St. Paul, Minnesota, here in Panama, beautiful country, first time here. Love Great guy, goes to all the aways. He was there in El Salvador, it's hot, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, but, um, nah, you know, there's nothing like coming to an away game. I mean, you know, not only the soccer, but also experiencing another country, the culture, beautiful place. Panama got its goal and it's immediately into the time-wasting tactics. I think every player had to lie down at some point. Then the ball boy started to have some funny games. Despite the score, fair play the people of Panama, they were very hospitable and I highly recommend visiting. We will be back next month covering USA Mexico from Cincinnati and Jamaica USA from Kingston. Hope to see you all there.